Today I will show you how to add debris or dust particles to your images. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will teach you how to create custom debris brushes and how to add that debris or dust to your images to achieve more dynamics in it. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, this is our first image for today and as you can see this is an action shot of a woman preparing to smash a ball. And it's a pretty nice picture but if we add a little bit more debris here, dirt of, of the ground, we will have a little bit more dynamic image. So how to add that? First what we need to do is to create our custom debris brush. So for that we will need a blank new blank document. So for that we will need our famous keyboard shortcut control command and for a new document. And I will add maybe 4000 by 4000 pixels document. It can be 300 uh, pixels per inch and press OK. That's really, really nice. Now we have a new blank document. And I will use the lasso tool and just create some, uh, you'll see some shapes of debris that I want to add to our image. All right, let's make something like so, then press and hold shift to have this plus icon to add more selections here and just add some custom shapes like so. Okay, and you need to add, oops, you need to add a lot of them and need to have some smaller ones, bigger ones, etc. like so. Maybe like so, this here can be a smaller ones, medium ones, maybe a little bigger one. And just add as much as you want. You will find the right amount after some practice, but this is the beauty that you can create your own custom debris brush and have fun with, with that. Okay, and let's call it okay for now. And now when we are done with creating selections for our debris, we need to fill those selections with a black color. So let's do that. Let's first reset our color palette to default by pressing D on the keyboard. Now we have default colors, black and white. And now let's press Alt or Option key and backspace to fill those selections with the black color. And now press Control Command D to deselect it. And now we need to transform to convert that into a brush. So to do that, just go to Edit define brush preset and name your preset as ever you want. I will name it Debris01, all right? And if I press now B on the keyboard, I have the brush in shape of those Debris that we just created, right? To save our time, I, before this tutorial, created another custom brush for our Debris. I will show you really quickly. See, it's much uh, densier and smaller. And I will convert now those shapes into a brush is the same method. Edit, define brush preset and just name it Debris, I will name it Debris 02. Okay, and if I press B on the keyboard, I have a brush in that custom shape. So let's go back to our document and create a new blank layer. And if I want now to paint those Debris in our document, I will have something not so interesting. It's okay, but we need to make uh, some to change some brush properties for this custom brush to have even better result. So to do that, just press F5 on the keyboard or go here to brush properties. And let's go from first option brush tip shape, I will change the spacing to 25, just to increase it a little bit, right. And then I will go to shape dynamics here, go to size jitter and move it all the way up to have different size on every stroke. I will go to angle jitter and push it all the way up and round this something, I don't know, around maybe 30 or so percent. Let's leave it around 30. And that's it. Go to the scattering and scatter this, but not too much, just maybe around 50 or so percent. Let's say 50, why not? All right. And let's sample with the Alt or Option key. Let's sample some ground color here, some dark brown. And let's see what we have it now. 
See, every brush stroke, it's a little bit different and it's a little bit nicer. So let's make some subtle changes here. Let's add something like so and see before and after, before and after already really nice result. Let's now blur this a little bit. Go to the filter blur and let's use motion blur. Choose the angle, maybe like so and Let's choose distance about maybe nine or 10 pixels, press OK. And that's really, really nice. Now we have really nice effect. We can create another blank layer and use maybe even smaller brush. Let me see to add some small debris down here and maybe here or a little bit bigger. And again, go to the filter, blur, motion blur and just blur it. And of course we can change the opacity for it, maybe just a touch like so, or we can add another and another blank layer and make some bigger debris like so if we want. Let me see, like so. But maybe we don't need them. But let's let's blur them just a little bit and then like so and let's change the opacity something like so and if we group this press ctrl command g to group it and name the breeze let me show you before it's really nice image but after it has a little bit more dynamic it has a little bit more that action feeling in in the shot because of those flying debris the dirt of 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 the ground it's really really nice effect so let me show you on another image how you can achieve Again, the same nice result. Let's use this image and I will go really quickly here. Just use the same brush that we created and make it smaller, maybe like so. Add some debris here and here. Go to the filter blur motion blur and blur it a little bit and add new layer and maybe add a few bigger ones like so. Blur it again. Maybe blur it even more like so. We can add a layer mask and use just a normal, normal brush here to delete some debris that we don't, don't want here. And maybe blur it even more. I'm going a little bit faster now, but it's the same point like on the previous image. And we can maybe make some debris lighter by clipping a curves adjustment layer and make it lighter or darker like so, maybe here, let me see if I clip this adjustment layer here and make it lighter, it's not bad, a little bit lighter. And it's the same before and after, see, before and after. It's really, really nice result. Let me show you on another image. It doesn't need to be the breeze of, of dirt or something. It can be something else. For example, if you have this hockey image and you want to add a little bit more snow here that that ice that sparks uh, all around you can do that too with the same brush just create a new empty layer and use that custom brush that we created like so but you need to use white color just use white color and just add some all right i need to go again here 25 because I didn't save. That's that's good that this happens because I will show you how to save now brush. Let's go all the way here, maybe 30% and scattering around 50%. That's nice. And now you have a brush with all those options here and you need to go again, edit and define brush preset and save that brush as you want. Or you can go, let me see if I can go here new brush preset and just is the same brush name debris to let, let's name it to one and now let me see this is okay and if i use the older one it's not nothing happens because it doesn't have changed brush properties but if i use the new one that i saved right now yeah i have really nice effect so we can add some more debris here and maybe here like so and just go to the filter blur and motion blur and just blur that change the angle 
something like maybe nine or eight, seven, seven, it's okay. And now you have a little bit more that sparkling eyes in the image. Of course, if you want to exaggerate that, you can add a lot of this, maybe smaller brush and add like so. And of course, blur it again, just to have a nice blur effect. And that's it. You can change the opacity of this layer if you want, or if you can turn it off all the way if you don't need it. And let me show before and after, and after adding another layer, that's really, really nice effect. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. You just saw how you can create a custom debris brush in Photoshop to add more dynamics to your action shots. So have fun experiment creating different shapes and sizes of that uh, debris brush and different dance of debris in a brush, etc. And you will achieve really, really powerful effect for your images. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Have fun experiment and see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.